Maggie is a part of our family, and we want to do everything we can to provide her a happy life and healthy lifestyle. Part of this is preparing for the unknown. In this video, I'll go over some of the basic information in caring for your dog. I'll go over what goes into a pet first aid kit, understand how to take vital signs, breathing and cardiac emergencies, wound care, and even choking. Pet first aid kit. You should have everything you'd put in your own first aid kit, plus a thermometer with petroleum jelly, nail clippers, tick remover, homemade skunk uh, off, which consists of hydrogen peroxide, Dawn dish soap, and baking soda. You should also have a muzzle or you can use a leash. Vitals. Know what's normal for your pet. Take some time now to notice the vital signs of your pet. Respiratory rate. Just put your hand over their chest and watch their breathing rise and fall. Do this for 15 seconds. Should be between 10 to 30 breaths per minute. However, if they're panting, it could be up to 200 pants per minute. Heart rate. You can check the heart rate by reaching into the inner thigh. Use two fingers and lightly touch. For puppies, it'll be 120 to 160 beats per minute. Small dogs will be uh, 100 to 140 beats per minute. And then larger dogs will be 60 to 100 per minute. Temperature. So make sure you have some treats in your pocket. Grab a clean thermometer, a glove, and use that petroleum jelly. Your dog's temperature should be between 99.5 and 102.5. That's usually about normal. If it's lower than 99 or higher than 104, make sure to call the vet. Mucous membrane. To check the color of mucous membrane, lift the dog's upper or lower lip. Observe the color of this gum or inner lip. It should not be blue, yellow, red, or brown or white. It should be a nice pink. You can also check the capillary refill time. So just press on the gums and observe how soon the gum turns back to the normal color of pink. This should be around one to two seconds. Muzzle your dog. It's important before you do any first aid that you muzzle your dog. You can just do this with a leash. Wound care. The first thing you're gonna want to do if your pet has a wound is put direct pressure on that wound by using a dry, sterile bandage. Then create a pressure dressing by adding extra sterile bandages and also using a gauze roll. Tie a knot right over the wound to help create a little extra pressure to stop bleeding. Take your pet to the vet so that the wound can get inspected and possible stitches. Rescue breathing. 
If your dog is unresponsive, check their ABCs. A is for airway. With your dog on the right side, tilt their head back, pull their tongue out, use your fingers to check for foreign objects. B, breathing. Check and see if your dog is breathing, watching the chest rise and fall. At the same time, put your hand on their chest and notice if you can feel a heartbeat. If there is a heartbeat, but there isn't breathing, begin rescue breathing. One breath every three to five seconds. CPR. If your dog is unresponsive, check their ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation for five to 10 seconds. If your dog does not have any heartbeat or they're not breathing, begin CPR. Start by doing 30 compressions and two breaths. This should be at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Continue doing this cycle. You should do it until you see signs of life. You should also do it on the way to the veterinarian. Choking. In the event that your dog is choking, the first thing you should do, check their mouth and then do five abdominal thrusts. After five abdominal thrusts, lift their hind leg and wheelbarrow them. Gravity will help move the object. And then go ahead and do five back blows. Continue this, but you should check the mouth. Make sure you can see the object. Again, five abdominal thrusts. Lift the hind legs, wheelbarrow, then five back blows. This time Maggie has coughed up the substance. She's all done. She's much better. Maggie loves to be part of our family. She loves canoeing, kayaking, backpacking, and just exploring our woods. We want to help her do these things. So learning a little bit about first aid is just one step. If you'd like to, more information on pet first aid, join us at Unity College for the American Red Cross Dog and Cat First Aid Training. You can also download the American Red Cross Pet First Aid app. Thanks for joining us.